private lawn here. It is Tuesday, March 9th. And today I wanted to kind of do something a little different, but at the same time, it's the same thing. I would like to join up with a group of crafters who do a little thing called Talk To Me Tuesday. I really like watching their videos. They're really interesting people. They're really funny. They do stuff that I could never do. A lot of them do sewing, crocheting, paper piecing. Uh, I thought it would be fun to kind of join them on a Talk To Me Tuesday. First of all, this is not something I've done. This is something I got in the mail and I'm super excited about, guys. Sorry. It takes a while for things to get to me. And so I was excited when it came in the mail today. I actually bought this from a lady that is on YouTube. It's uh, Freehand Bendy. I really liked her stuff. I really liked how informational she was, how much she knows about what what she works with, uh, so I knew I'd be getting a quality product. I bought Moroccan henna powder and monsoon henna powder from Rajasthan. All I've ever used really is Jamila or Jamila or Jamila. I'm not sure. Anyways, I, I used a couple of other ones, but I couldn't tell you the name of them for the life of me. Jamila was sort of foolproof for me. Like, it wasn't my favorite, but I couldn't screw it up. But I thought I would give it a try, even though it's been like a year and a half since I've even used henna. I bought their black walnut powder. Also got carrot bags so I can That's the sound it makes when it comes out. Mm -hmm. Do you want to say hello? Come here. Okay, maybe not have to pee. I think he just wants to say hero. Do you want to say hero to camera? Hero camera. Mm. Actually, it's kind of funny because one of the other uh, chicks <laughs> does uh, talk to me Tuesday when she starts talking. Her cat has to like come see what she's doing because she's talking and he needs to be center of attention. And that's kind of how Augie is. I'm talking to no one in particular and so he thinks he needs the attention. Do you want to help me show off the new stuff? Yeah, probably not. He's going to get bored like halfway through. Because I found out we have um, a store on post where you can consign stuff. And they will allow you to do arts and crafts. Actually, they get kind of excited, I think, when people do arts and crafts. So, I made a whole bunch of stuff that I can sell in there. And it's not quite finished yet because I still have to like put bales on them and make chains and zipper pulls for them as well. Not make chains, but put them together. You know what I mean. So the first thing, since I'm on an army post and there's a lot of army people here, go figure, and they're all so very patriotic, they told me that um, red, white, and blue stuff is really popular. He wants to out now. Go! Be free! No. So I did some patriotic stuff. First of all, army wives. No, 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 no. He likes wood and he especially likes my pendants. So army wife, cause we have a lot of them here. See, support our troops. You don't have to support the war to support the troops. They're just doing what they're told. This one I thought was adorable. And I actually, um, most of these designs I bought uh, on Etsy. They're called collage sheets and you can use them for your pendants or scrapbooking. Uh, a lot of people use them for scrapbooking. I will, I'll go ahead and put some links to the two stores that I bought them from, but they're all royalty free. Uh, they're either designed by the person or they were found by the person and they do the research to make sure that, you know, there's no copyright issues or anything like that. And then, of course, because I have to stay true to myself, maybe there aren't a lot of nerds around here or maybe there are. I don't know. There could be. Uh, I went ahead. I only did one Harry Potter one. Um, I may keep this one for myself and do a different one, but... 
just I heart HP portal and I did it in Gryffindor colors because I'm either a Gryffindor or I'm a Hufflepuff I'm not sure I'm definitely not Ravenclaw if I was if I was in Ravenclaw like obviously the hat wouldn't put me in there but I would never get into the common room let's see and then of course I did a couple of Twilight ones we've got team Jacob and just I did black paint around it I, I like decorating them myself like using paint and glue and stuff and team Edward paint that gold and red Where are Gryffindor colors again oops what are you gonna do and then two just like regular vampire ones this one I really like I did I heart vampires and then it's red and black around the edge and I think it looks really cute so I think I'm gonna do a few more of those and maybe pop some up in my Etsy shop or something like that. I did this one and I went ahead and did a white background because the other one you couldn't really read very well but it's the I Heart Werewolves, Vampires, and Trans Fat. Basically anything that can kill me. I like it better as a white and I did paint around the edge. Some fun paint. In the end, because we do have a lot of teenagers on post. I went ahead and did some stuff that I wouldn't necessarily wear now, but I definitely would have worn in high school, and I thought these were really cool. Um, I mean, some of them I would wear now, but um, not in high school anymore. I'm not a spring chicken. I'm, I'm like, I'm a summer chicken now. Okay, so, like this. This kind of, this really reminds me of the 80s. I was born in the 80s, I didn't really live during the 80s, but just those bright colors and skulls and more skulls. And I actually put this one in a cameo, but it's in the craft store right now being displayed. Maybe I will show you where I work sometime, that would be neat. I made a really cute display for all my jewelry, So, because I'm going to be teaching people how to make this stuff. Chef, yeah, rock on! Who doesn't love cupcakes? You tell me. You tell me who does not like communists. That's who doesn't like cupcakes. Actually, I bet you anything they have them at their meetings. Yeah, I think this one is really pretty. Uh, you can't. It's supposed to look like it's drawn on um, paper, lined school paper. And this one, I really, really do like this one. I've got it in like pink. And a couple of other colors maybe. Uh, it's an old old school microphone. Speaking of old school, um, I bought also some pinup girls. I really love like the 20s, 30s, and 40s. Like I adore that look. And this is a stamp that I uh, was going to burn. Switzerland. In Switzerland, not burn Indiana. Hee <laughs> hee. And then I went ahead and did some cameos because I absolutely love doing cameos. And these are all of the Eiffel Tower, but different pictures and whatnot. This is one of my favorites. Just pretty. Pelly. Om nom 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 nom. When I think of Paris, I think of food and I get excited. What can I say? And then the last. But not least, I did like 40 this weekend. 40 pendants. Oh my gosh. And the dog seriously does have to go out. So I uh, will see you later when I do another video of something else. Oh! I got a bonsai tree. I have a feeling it's going to die in like a week because I'm horrible with plants. But uh, I haven't named it yet. If you have a good idea for a name for my, I'll name everything. I name everything. So if you have a good idea for a name for my little plant, please don't die. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.